Hello, besties. I'm a few minutes early. It's better to be early than on time these days, right? Have a good have good intentions <laughs> to be early, not late, right? Or on time, like they say, even on time is late. You gotta be early. So I'm here. I'm early. I wanted to make sure comments were working. I wanted to give you guys a chance to get these notifications that I'm live. And I'm in action, and I hope that comments work. I go live very often, and you would think by now Facebook loves me, but not yet. So sometimes I don't see uh, comments. So if you're on, can you give me some love? Say hello to me. I want to make sure comments are working because not that I... <sighs> I go squirrel brain when I see comments. So I don't know. It's like a love-hate relationship. But I want to make sure that the comments are working at least. Or at least y'all can hear me. And I'm not talking to, to a brick wall. Okay. Comments are not working. Because I see them over there on my computer. <laughs> All right. So I'll give this one more minute. And I am not going to waste any more of your time. Your time is precious. And I don't want to waste it. Um, so it's 10.59. Um, if you're commenting, you guys can hear me great. Yay! Hello, everybody. Hi, Sandra, Angie, Angie, twice. Hear you great? Yes. Hi, Brenda. I see some of my teamies are on. Hello, Jen. Hi, Allie. Yay! I'm feeling the love. Mm -mm. Yay! Hi, Mary. All right, so if y'all keep seeing me look like that. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Hi, Tiffany. Thank you, girlfriend. Red Aspen. Um, love them. I'm a frugal gal these days. Gotta save where you can, right? Hi, Angie. Oh, you guys are awesome. You listen to me Tuesday night. Mary, thank you, girlfriends. Thank you, thank you. All right, it's 11 on the nose. I am not going to keep looking over there because <laughs> it's going to allow me to keep reading them and not talk about what I'm here to talk to you guys about. I'm out of breath. All right, so I did my intro, um, so I'm not even going to go into that. If you don't know me by now, my intro is in this group. Um, I've done several trainings in this group, and every time I'm asked, I still get freaking nervous. So, Bear with me. I talk with my hands. I sometimes talk with my eyes closed. I squirrel. Just hang on. I promise you I'm going to try to bring some good nuggets and Chick-fil-A sauce today with you guys, to you guys. All right. So hi from Canada. Yay. Hi, boo. Hi, Sabrina. All right. Here we go. So I am here to talk to you guys about VIP groups. It is my ultimate passion when it comes to VIP groups, it is how I have built my business to where it is today. I have high PRV every single month, and I'm not saying that to brag. I say that because apparently I know what I'm talking about a little bit. So if you want to hang on today, talk to me for the next 30 to 45 minutes. I will try to share with you every single thing that I do in my VIP group, as well as several posts today between now and 8 p.m. in this group. You guys have me all damn day. I will share with you as much as I can as far as what are VIP groups, especially if you're a new consultant watching me, or if you're a veteran uh, consultant, you've been around for a bit, what you can do to maybe tweak yours, change yours, revamp yours, refresh yours, whatever. Um, so what are VIP groups, right? So VIP groups to me are your customers that love Sensi. They love to support you. They are here for it. They're here for all the things, right? Not every customer of mine is in my VIP group. If you guys saw my previous post about how many VIP members you have, I only have 337 VIP members. Now, mind you, probably a good 50 need to get the boot, which I will be doing this weekend. Um, but... Not all my customers are in my VIP group. I have over 3,000 customers in my contacts tab in the workstation. I don't have every customer in there because not every customer wants to be in my VIP group or they're just a one-time customer, whether they're a party goer or event, a event buyer or whatever. Not every customer gets in your VIP group. So who gets in your VIP group? Like I mentioned, those that want to be in there. I don't force anybody to be in my VIP group. If they don't want to be in there, I'm not hurt feelings. I don't lose sleep. I want those that want to be in my VIP group in my VIP group. Um, who gets added to my VIP group? Like I mentioned, those that love Sensi. Um, every time I party, 
whether that's online, in-home, in basket, I am automatically sending them a message, thanking them for their order, and I'm all, I'm automatically give them a VIP link invite. I'd say, hey, I would love to invite you into my VIP group. Um, I want to be continue to uh, be in touch with you. It's where I talk about all the things Sensi, new things, uh, tutorials. I kind of give them a spill of what I do in my VIP group, VIP spoiling perks, all the things I would love for you to be a part. I always ask my party guests, I don't care if they ordered or not, I always send a message to party guests and say, you know, thank you for ordering, thank you for hanging out with us, whatever the spill is to that customer, that person, and I give them that VIP invite. If they join, they join. They don't, they don't. Move it on, right? How to make a VIP group. Um, if you're new to sense, new to Facebook world or new to groups or whatever, you just go into your personal profile. You're going to click groups. You're going to click that plus sign, depending on what device you're on. And you're going to create the group. Me personally, I find having a group that's private versus public, uh, I feel is a little bit more safer when it comes to content because I don't want just any willy nilly Joe Blow coming into my group. I want it to be a sacred group where VIPs feel like they're part of this community, that they're the ones that are getting all of my personal attention, and I want to be able to share things that I want to share to just those VIPs. So I have my group set as private for that reason. Um, I've never had it public, so honestly, I don't, I don't know. I like it I like it private, all right? So you can choose whether you want it public or private. That's just my personal preference. Um, how to make one, like I said, you create it into Facebook groups. Um, you make it private if you wish, and then you can start adding your close friends, those that are ordering from you on a regular. Start your VIP group today. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you make one. Now, I'm not holding a gun to your head, say you got to have one to be successful. I'm, I know there's many consultants that don't have a VIP group and they run using a, VA, a business page or they use their personal pages or they don't have one at all and they just do snail mail and text messages and emails and they're still as just as much successful. But I'm going to tell you what, VIP groups to me is my bread and butter and it's allowed me to really grow a community to share all the things, but also to have fun and to create, did I already say community? I'm squirreling. I told you I'm all over the place, y'all. Bear with me. Um, but VIP groups is totally where my bread and butter, how I get my PRV, how I get my parties booked, how I get people to know me and to get to know me. The like, know, and trust factor is huge when it comes to building your business. The more the person likes you, the more the person gets to know you, the more they're gonna trust you, and that is how you're gonna get repeat orders, that's how you're gonna get people to book parties, that's how you're gonna get people to join your team, that's how you're gonna get people to think about you at all times when it comes to Sensi, and to send your name out there and get you referrals. Hi, Shauna, I'm seeing comments now on my phone. I wasn't seeing them. I was just seeing them on my computer. Now they're coming on here. Now Facebook loves me. All right. What are VIP groups? We talked about that. And I have a long list. And I'm sorry that I'm talking fast, but I have a lot of ground to cover. So hang on to your wigs. Who to add? We just talked about that. Uh, friend requests. So with my VIP group, every customer of mine, and some of them are not even in my VIP group, they are friends on Facebook. I want them, as I mentioned, like, know, and trust factor are huge in building our businesses, and I want them to get to know me, so I friend request every single customer, and of course, every 337 members of my VIP group are friends with me. I want to get to know them. I want them to get to know me, and that's part of our business, right? We are a relationship-building business business, you guys. If you are not building relationships and connecting and conversating with your customers, you're not going to last. It's going to be a one-time order and they're going to keep it pushing. They may not even order from you again. They'll find another Sensi consultant that's posting and doing all the things and they may choose to order from them the second time or third time. You've got to be talking to your peeps. And so friend requesting, if you are scared to do that, you better get out of that comfort bubble and do it. I am giving you permission to stop being in that comfort box and get out of it. You've got to get out there and meet and talk and communicate with your customers as much as possible. And I'll talk about how I do that um, on a daily. Um, Melissa, I'm just seeing your comment, girl. What do you post in there to make it different from your personal page? I'm going to get to that in just a moment. Let's just hang on to me. Hang on. Hang on. All right. Um, so as far as communicating, I learned this from Sunny. Uh, Sunny Kircher, she taught me, I don't know why this wasn't 
on my radar at first, but uh, she does ABC communication. And I, at first, was doing it in my VIP group, but it kind of goes hand in hand when it comes to your personal page. But every single morning, I drink my coffee, I make my breakfast and all the things, and I sit down on my couch and I take 10 to 15 minutes, I set a timer, and I go through my VIP page every single morning. And I reach out to five VIPs. Just random people throughout my VIP group. I try to reach those that I haven't talked to in a while the most because I'm trying to keep them engaged and keep them in my group and ordering and supporting and engaging and all the things. So every single day, I reach out to five VIPs. Here recently, I do the ABC method through my personal page um, where you I reach out with five separate people on my personal page. Go through your friends list and start with the A's, start with the B's, start with the C's. It's taken me a little while. I'm still in the freaking A's, y'all. <laughs> I have over 13 fr 1,300 friends on my friends list on my personal page. But I started doing that too, and it's something very, very easy, not sensey related. Say, hey, chick. Or not, hey, chick, that's kind of rude. Hey, boo, hey, bestie, hey, friend, whoever, however you want to reach them. Or say, hey, Susie Q, whatever works for you. And to say, hey, how's it going? I noticed that Jack just started 10th grade. I am so freaking excited for him. I hope he has a fantastic year. How are you doing, mama? How are you making now? I know kids are growing up fast. Keep it very, very simple, two or three sentences. Let you guys communicate with each other. And then at the end of it, I hope you have a fabulous day. I just wanted to check in on you, and I'll talk to you soon. That is it. I do that every single morning just to reach out and connect. Don't even talk about Sensi, you guys. I do that every single day. And that has cr created like a sticky culture with my VIP group because they know that it's not just about a transaction. It's not just about Sensi. I truly, truly am investing in their lives. It's not just about Sensi, you guys. At the end of the day, yes, it's an amazing feeling when you get that email. You have a new, it's kind of like back in the day, AOL. You have mail, right? It's kind of still, it's still exciting when you get that PWS email, right? But at the end of the day, it truly matters about that communication, that connection with those, with those people. Connect, have conversations other than Sensei. Okay. I'm telling you, please listen to me. I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. So every day I message five VIPs, okay? Every single day. Every single day. Um, engagement. The biggest thing in my group, it's not just about Sensi, you guys. Like I said, we're learning. We want to learn to learn about us, and we want to learn about them at the end of the day. Yes, it's a VIP group. Yes, it's where I talk all things Sensi. But I also talk about me and share about me and I want to get to know them. So I have created, if you haven't noticed or seen throughout social media, I do interactive posts. Every single month I make them and I make them themed. So this month it's, it's sunflowers, right? Gotta love sunflowers. So every single day at 10 a.m., my VIPs know that they're going to get an interactive post from me. It's some random question. 99% of the time, it is non-sensi related. So today, this morning, I said, please snap a picture of what you're drinking right this second. Now, do it. And they're snapping pictures of what's in front of them. Uh, yesterday, it was, uh, no, what was yesterday? Jesus Christ. I don't know. Yesterday, it, it, it's every day it's something personal. Hi, Trish. Hi, Patty. You still use AOL? Is it still around? <laughs> that seems like so many ages ago. Um, squirrel. Uh, I do personal interactive posts. Every single day there's an interactive post. And it's, that's not the only interactive post, you guys. I am doing interactive posts, I feel like, every single day. It's not just that one at 10 o'clock. But that, over the last two years, has really built my algorithm. I will be sharing that Canva link later on today. Um, not just the August ones that you can use for the next two weeks of August that are left, but I will share my Canva link. And I basically change the background, and I just duplicate it for the 30 or 31 days of the month. And I go to Pinterest, Etsy, Google, whatever, and I find random questions that are off the wall, and I just roll with it, and I make those interactive posts, and I share them with leaders, I share them with the Make Sense groups, and I share them with my team, and that's one thing that has really been consistent with me, and my VIPs look forward for that. I pre-schedule them a month in advance, so next weekend I'll be scheduling, or next week I'll be scheduling September's and, and so forth, and so um, I do that every single day.
and they look forward to that. They really do. I find that customers like to talk about themselves. They like to be asked their opinions. And so those engagements have really built not just the engagement in my group, but I've learned to get to know them. And it's crazy to see the interaction between the customers in the post. Um, they'll interact with each other. They will learn ideas about each other. They will inquire on what is what in their po in their comments in the thread. And it's crazy how much people have learned, even grown relationships relationships with each other in my group and it's an amazing feeling. It's amazing that I've created a community of little fr of my friends. Like these are like my best friends and that's why if you noticed in my VI in the post earlier, um I've revamped and renamed my group to Set Besties because I truly feel that community that relationships have grown and connected with the customers across the board and we're all friends. We are besties. Like a lot of my customers are actually friends that I talk to on a daily. And it's not just VIP group. They're in my messenger box. They're texting me. They're emailing me. Uh, we do sniffing sessions, and I'll talk about that in a moment. I do gatherings. Like, it's just not just about customers at this point. It is friendships. And they're going to order, and I don't even have to ask them to order. I don't have to ask them to support me because they do it on a ma automatic because they love me, they trust me, they like me, they know me. And they're going to want to do all the things to help me, right? So just keep being consistent with that. Um, content, comment, and like. So I am always commenting and liking every single post or every single comment. So if you're posting in your VIP group and then your customers are commenting on your posts and you're not engaging in the comments or at least reacting to them, you need to start doing that. Because, yeah, you can pre-schedule all your posts all damn day, and if you're not engaging with your customers in that thread, you're just defeating the purpose. You're leaving them hanging. You've got to take a point to comment and engage with your customers in your posts as well. Um, every single night when my kids go to bed, my husband's snoring right beside me early at night because he works long days, I take a good hour chunk in the evenings in bed and I go through my day of posts. Now, mind you, like, like I said, I pre-schedule my posts. So I may be busy all damn day on the road, but my posts are being run. And then at the end of the day or during my lunch break, I'll go through my VIP group and I will engage. I will comment. I will love or like their comments. I will make sure that they are seen. And so if you're com if you're posting and you're not engaging, you're you're basically wasting your time. You've got to be engaging in those posts as well. It is sometimes time consuming. But think about it as this. If you're working this business as a hobby, if you're just posting and you're just flying by the seat of your pants, you're not going to go but so far. I'm just going to break it down for you. I'm being transparent. That's just how I teach. It's how I, how I mentor my teamies. You've got to work this business as a business. If you're here right now watching me and listening to me scramble, squabble, you're here because you want to build your business. You're here to figure out how to build your business, right? So you've got to work this as a business if you want it to pay you as a business, if you want this to really, truly build and build your paychecks. So think of it as a full-time job or a part-time job. I'm hopping into my VIP group because it's my job. It's my passion. It's non-negotiable for me and my family to build my income, to continue building my business. So I show up just like a full-time job, right? You show up at 8 a.m. for your full-time job or whatever have you, right? My VIP group is my job. I go in there every single morning at 8.30 and I, and you, I swear on everything. Every single day at 8 to 8.30, I am posting a good morning post. And they all know that it's normally 95% of the time it's coffee related. Because why? They know me. I am a coffee fanatic. And they know that I'm going to post some sort of coffee, good morning, whatever. And they look forward to those posts, you guys. It's been a good solid three years that I've been posting every single morning. If not nothing at all, I am posting every single morning. Now, there's been a couple few times that I've lost, I, I missed out, and I actually had customers reach out to me. Kim, are you okay? I didn't see your post this morning. Are you okay? Do you need anything? Because it's gotten to be that point of consistency, and they know that this is my life. And if I go MIA, they know to come find me. It's gotten to that be that point because I've been consistent. So every single morning, I do a good morning post. Now, 
I'll talk, I'm kind of going, trying to go in order. So we'll talk about schedules and the content and all the things in a moment. But make sure you're engaging in your posts and make sure you're being consistent in your posts. If anything, you need to be posting daily in your VIP groups. A lot of you guys commented on my previous po post that your VIP groups are dead. They're not being engaging. They're not interactive. You're wasting your time. Please consider how you are posting. How often are you posting? Um, are you posting for a good week? And then you're MIA for another week and then you come back in another week and then you come, you can't do that. I'm sorry to say that and bust your bubble. You've got to post every single day for your VIP groups to grow. This, my VIP group has not grown overnight. This is years of consistency, um, posting every day and making sure that I keep my customers in the loop. And that I'm always taking care of my customers, whether it's personally or sensi or whatever. Thank you, girlfriend. Red Aspen. Anyway, squirrel. Um, so please think about your consistency. Are you being consistent? You need to evaluate your business and be hard on yourself. Say, Kim, are you being consistent? Are you posting every single day? Seriously. Are you posting every freaking single day? If you're not, you got to start. You've got to freaking start. And if I'm hurting your feelings, I am so sorry. I am seriously so sorry. But I'm just being completely transparent with you guys. You've got to post every single day. You got to. And it doesn't have to be sensey. Be personal. Okay? When I'm on vacations, when I'm doing my incentive trips, if I am sick, if my kids are sick, if my husband and I are going on a road trip in his big rig, they know what I'm doing for that day. Or they know what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like for that day. They are always in my loop, you guys. Always. Okay? Moving on. Quality over quantity. We talked about that earlier in the post. It is about quality, you guys. Do not feel like you have to add every single customer in your VIP group. Give those that are there just for free shit and giveaways, give them the boot. If they're not even responding to you or texting you back or they're leaving you on read or read or whatever you want to say that, give them the freaking boot. I'm telling you now, they are dragging you down in the algorithm. The, uh, the people that want to be there will be there, and you want your quality of your group to be there, not about quantity. Remove the, the fluff. Have those that are in there that need to be in there and that deserve to be in there. Okay? Okay. Uh, they're always watching. Big thing that I learned years and years and years and years and years ago. People are always watching you guys. So even if you're not getting likes and comments and all the things, don't give up. Keep being consistent and post every single day. They are watching. If you look at your post at the bottom right-hand corner, and depending on how Facebook is and wants to feel for that day, you can actually click that views of who has seen your post and a list of people that have seen your post will show up. Not every app, not every phone, not every upgrade or downgrade, I don't know, Facebook's just wonky, sees that list. But at least you can see the number of how many people have looked at your uh, posts, okay? Don't give up. I don't care if it's five people that have looked at your posts. Keep freaking posting. Do not give up. I promise you, the more consistent you are, the more you show up, the more personal you are, the more it will build. I promise. I freaking duply promise you. As customers become team members, okay, we'll talk about that, Christine. Don't re I, Let me go ahead and address that right now. They get out of my group after 30 days. I, I just have personal reasons for that. And I, if you need me to elaborate, I can. Um, sorry, got a long list. Um, where was I? They're always watching. Okay. And if you can see the list of people that are seeing your post, what I do, and I used to be able to do this. I can't do it now because of freaking Facebook and the updates and whatever. But if you can see the people that have viewed your post, you can actually, I would suggest, I used to do this. You message those people. Say, Hey, Susie Q, I saw that you saw my post this morning. How are you doing? Like, let it be known that you see them seeing you. They may not have liked it or commented on it, but you can see that they saw it and you can reach out to them privately. And that actually has changed my business, my group, because they see, oh, Kim's not a robot. Kim actually cares. And she actually is indulging in, in how I feel. And they will start engaging. They will start doing all the things because you've reached out to them privately just to check in on them. So think about that as far as your views for your 
for your for your content. Uh, consistency, don't go uh, MIA. I kind of talked about that a moment ago. You can't just post for a couple days and then be gone for a couple days. You can't just be posting for a week and let your VIP group, gr VIP group, I'm talking too fast, VIP group go silent. You can't do that, you guys. People are not going to engage. They're not going to think you're, they're not going to take you seriously. They're not going to invest in you. They're not going to think, they're, they're, they're not. They're just not. You've got to be consistent in whatever you do. Okay, whether that's an every morning post to get started and then build from there. You've got to be consistent. Do not go MIA. Do not. That's one major thing that I've learned over the years is that if I go MIA, my business, my, my VIP engagement drops, my ordering drops, all the things just go by the wayside. Do not go MIA. If anything, just start posting daily and build up from there. Okay. VIP programs and raffle tickets. So VIP programs, I have really cut out a lot of fluff. I used to send packages like no one's business, but because now I work this full time and it's my income, I had to cut a lot of fluff out because this used to be my fun money. So I didn't really care, right? Now that this is my full time income, I've cut out a lot of expenses and my budget has changed. So I don't send out those lavish gifts I used to. I don't, I don't do a lot of, a lot of things that I used to do. I keep it very simple. I keep it pretty basic. You don't have to send all the things to your customers. They're going to order from you regardless as long as you're doing all the things, as long as you're being consistent as long as you're showing great customer service, reaching out to them, follow-ups, like that sort of stuff, they're going to continue to order and support you. So don't feel like you have to send all the things. So in turn, I do several VIP programs. And over time, it's changed, right? So one of the programs I mentioned was the interactive challenge that I do every single morning at 10 a.m. I then go through the group. I put all their names in a random wheel. And at the end of the month, I send out a scent circle to one VIP as a thank you. That's my prize. That's my happy mail. It's one stamp. I always get scent circles with my rewards when I close out a party. Um, I, 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 I have tons and tons of scent circles. So that is that prize that I give out. And then I they get a way to get a new scent under their nose, a new product in their hands, right? And as a thank you to them, for me, from me to them. Um, so that's one program that I do. Another program that I do is brag and tag. So every time a customer posts in my VIP group, anything, I don't care what it is. If they want to share an inspo post, if they want to share what they're warming, changing their wax, um, if they want to share a cup of their coffee and say good morning, that counts. Any post that they do in my group, at the end of the, at the end of the month, I tally them all up, put them in a random wheel, and one VIP gets a send circle from me. Um, another, uh, another, uh, perk that I do is Sensi Club. And so every time a Sensi Club member has an order process that month, um, I add them all up at the end of the month and they get a free prize for me. And nine times out of ten, it's a send circle, right? I also do scratch, uh, scratch offs. Um, which can be whatever you want, free shipping, uh, free sense circle, free car bar, whatever, right? You write it in, put that gold scratch off or whatever, and they get that with their sense circle. So that's like two in one prize, right? Um, but it's still a stamp. Um, what else do I do? I mentioned raffle tickets. Uh, so what I do, hi, Jamie. What I do is I have raffle tickets, right? No names are on the tickets. So what I do is randomly when I send out prizes, right? So for instance, those, those VIP prize programs, or if I'm doing random happy mail, like, um, my newsletter mail, I do every single month for the rolling three month customers. Um, sometimes I put a uh, raffle ticket in there. I randomly put sent, uh, raffle tickets in people's mails. Or if I have customers that pick up their orders, they get a raffle ticket. Um, or if I do my scent crates, my mystery boxes every single month, sometimes I put raffle tickets in there. It is a random. And sometimes my kids are, are included. They'll just throw in random raffle tickets. Good morning, Alicia. In uh, my random happy mails, right? And what they do, and let me talk about that, Alicia, real quick. And what I do is I randomly pull a ticket. Okay? So it's not pay to buy. And that goes along with your question, Alicia. It is not a pay to buy. It is not a, uh, I'm not, I'm not telling them what they get. Um, it's not a set program. It is something in addition that I do. And it's a way for me to give out additional spoilings to my VIP members. Um, it is not a pay to play. I randomly give out raffle tickets. I put the other random ticket in here. I shake it up, and every now and again, I'll I'll pull a ticket. I'm like, all right, random drawings, you guys. Random VIP spoilings today. Who tickets are these? 
and they just tell me in the comments they take a picture of their ticket and like all right it's me yay and i send them a sensicle um just random things like that in my vip group they it keeps them engaging it keeps them wanting to stay in because they never know when i'm going to give out a prize they never know what kim is going to do from one day to the next. Every Sunday this month, for instance, um, I am doing Sunday spoilings. So Sundays is my family day. Um, I kind of pre-schedule a few fun things every single Sunday. And one of those Sunday things is a raffle ticket drawing. I'm like, all right, time for some spoiling. Who's got their tickets out? And I just pull two tickets. I post them on my VIP group. VIP, blah, 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 blah. VIP group. And I leave those tickets uh, valid for a week. So that way it gives those customers some time. They may not be on Facebook that day or the next two or three days for that matter, but they I give them a good week uh, to claim their ticket. And if they don't, oh well, that's one less cent circle I have to send out, right? But it's not a pay to play, you guys. I, I am within compliance. I am not asking them to order or party or whatever. I am randomly sending out tickets just because I feel like it. And in turn, if they pay attention to the VIP group, they may get a prize. They may not. They may miss out. Oh, well, right? So that's just one little perk that I do. Um, I also have a VIP mystery hostess program. So every single month, I open up a brand new uh, party uh, link, and I label it VIP or whatever. So August VIP mystery hostess. And every time they place an order using that link, um, they get into my drawing. Now, they, on, they not only get a drawing entry, but any... I also randomly give drawing entries for other reasons. So if I see them posting a lot in my VIP group, I'll give them an extra drawing. Um, if I see that they hosted a party with me, I'll give them an extra drawing. So it's not just ordering using that link because that's another compliance. Um, I give them other ways to get entries, not buying. And at the end of the month, whatever racked up rewards I have, I put everybody's name in a drawing and one VIP gets a shopping spray, which is our rewards from the party, right? That they shopped with, that link. Um, and so they love it because there's ways for them to get free Sensi without having to spend anything, but they supported me one way or another that month. Uh, so I do that every single month and I've been doing that good for three years now and it's been great. Um, Trying to keep track of time. It's been 30 minutes. Okay, I'm going to try to wrap this up, and I'm talking even faster. So hold on to your wigs. All right. Um, VIP schedule. I will share that as as well as a uh, as a Canva link. But I do a VIP schedule. It kind of keeps me accountable, and then it also allows my VIPs to look forward to what's happening in the week. So every single Sunday afternoon while I'm Netflixing, I create my weekly schedule, and my weekly schedule typically doesn't change. And I love that because my customers actually look forward. To, sorry, someone's calling me spam. Um, my customers actually look forward to the things that are happening that week. And I, like I said, I keep things kind of similar on most of those days. So for instance, Wednesdays is always Wax Wednesday. And they have gotten to be on a schedule with me where they are posting about their wax changes and what warmers they're using and all the things. And so they know that I change my wax. They know that I go live every single Wednesday and I talk about cotton cleanups and how to change wax and how to use black raspberry vanilla sometimes to clean out those waxes or how to use counter clean or whatever to clean out your waxes and it may be redundant but I'm gonna tell you nothing is wrong with repeating yourself nothing is wrong in doing the same thing week after week after week because mind you I am always growing my VIP group you're always partying you're always finding ways to bring new members into the group right right so saying the same things every week you guys is actually pretty good for my business and it's, and it's proven that because sometimes people may have missed it last week Sometimes I grow, grew new people from last week and they're just now seeing my live for the very first time this week, right? So I'm always doing those redundant things because sometimes people are missing those, um, those tips and those tricks. And as scientific, science, scientifically proven that people have to hear it seven times or read it seven times, right? Before it actually clicks. 
or ah, they have a, a light bulb moment, right? So I love to repeat. So Wednesdays are always Wax Wednesdays. Saturday is always Scentsy Club highlights, and I'm always highlighting uh, a Scentsy Club uh, member's order in on Saturday. I say, look, look what Susie Q has gotten. She got all of this stuff, 10% off, plus she's got her whiff box half off, you guys. It pays to be a club member. So I'm always highlighting Scentsy Club on Saturday. Sundays is family day, and they know it. They know not to bother me per se they always message me and say hey kim i know it's sunday i know it's your family time but i'm going to forget if i don't tell you now please don't worry about messaging me till tomorrow but i want you to know so they know my schedule you guys and so it keeps me accountable um and it it keeps me it keeps me organized right i figure out what i want to post for that for that week I always pre-schedule because not only am I a Sensi consultant, but I also, I, I have twins. I have 15-year-old twins. I've got a big rig trucking business that I run with my crazy-ass husband. And I've got two family members that I take care of out of the home. I'm busy. We are all busy, but we all poop, right? So being organized and having a timer and having this as a priority, considering it as a full-time job or as a job per se, making it a priority that is how you're going to grow in this business. That is how you're going to grow your paychecks. That's how you're going to grow your customer base. That's how you're going to get your customers to like, know, and trust you. If you treat it as a priority, my VIP group is my passion. I, it is my freaking passion. Like that's probably 90% of the time why I, like, I even come on to Facebook is to hop right into my VIP group and see what they're doing. And share what I'm doing. And share the news about what's happening in Sensi World. I love my VIP group. If you don't love your VIP group and you want to get to love your VIP group, figure out what you need to do to change it. VIP groups are my passion. And maybe it won't be your passion. Maybe it, maybe it's just something that you just try and you just... You just make it happen. VIP groups are my passion. Um, it's where I have grown my customer base. I've grown the community that I have. Um, it's built my PRV to where it is today. It's how I get my 10 to 12 parties a month. Um, I party in my VIP group, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I just love VIP groups. It is my passion. If it's not your passion and you think it could be your passion and you just need to tweak how your VIP group is working, I'm hoping that I am sharing some delicious nuggets with you today. And and just see that um, if it's working for me and I am nobody any different than you, I am nobody special. I don't have the magic sauce within my blood and I'm just the only one that has to have an amazing VIP group. Every single one of you guys can and it's not freaking hard. I, I know I'm throwing a lot at you today, but honestly, it's not that hard. It's just being you and sharing you, right? Sharing you. Um, and that goes with being personal, no flyers. I don't share much flower, fla flowers, flyers in my group. 90% of my posts are personal images. And if you say, well, I don't have this and I don't have that, Facebook is where you can find it. Go to the Facebook search Facebook box and type in what you're looking for. If you're looking for a certain warmer personal images, you're going to find it. If you're looking for certain bundles, you're going to find it. You don't have to have all the products on hand. 90% of my pictures are not mine. I am sharing them from others that are caring enough to share theirs. And I'm using them in my Facebook, my VIP page. My customers, your customers want to see products that are personally used. They want to envision that warmer on someone's nightstand, not a flyer. Okay. I know that the NFL helmets are releasing on Monday. I know that people that went to SFR, they shared personal images. But there's also amazing flyers in the workstation that you can use when you don't have those personal products or if it's a brand new product nobody has. Then yes, use a flyer. But try to resort into no flyers in your VIP group. Your customers want to see personal. They just want to see personal, okay? Um, organization, we talked about that a little bit. Um, but organization, I, I can't fly by the seat of my pants anymore. I am 40 years old. I've got too much shit going on and I forget. I've got to be organized. So if you're feeling, well, how do I post and how do I keep track of all the things? Get a planner, get a freaking planner and every Sunday or whatever day works for you in your life, sit down, take a good 30 minutes and write out what you want to do. And trust me, I'm not going to leave you hanging. Today I'm going to share a VIP calendar themed calendar of what you can do per day. 
And I will share a checklist of what things that you should keep in mind when you're posting in your VIP group. So don't worry. I'm not going to leave you hanging. Um, but I, like I said, I have been doing this solid, solid for a good four years, if not more. But I can honestly say four years, if not more. I have never run out of things to post. And I post at least, depending on the day, five to six times a day. Monday through Friday. Now, Saturday is probably one to three. And that includes my personal good morning post, you guys. And then Sunday, about three, two to three. And one of those posts is my schedule that they are going to be looking forward to for Monday and the, for the week. Um, so I post, and like I said before, if they don't want to be in your, in your VIP group, if they feel bombarded or if they feel that it's too much, they know where the door is. And I ain't going to lose sleep. But I'm going to have those that still want to be in there, in there, and they enjoy all of my posts, and they love being in there, and they love being in the know, and they love keeping up with my life, and my kid's life, and my husband's life, and all the things. You're going to find your people, okay? Even if it's 30 people, love hard on those 30 VIPs. I don't care what it is. Love on your VIPs hard. I don't care how many of them are in your group, okay? Okay. Um, I already mentioned making it a priority. you got to make it a priority. This VIP group, if you want it to make it work and you want to build it into something like a legacy, you've got to make it a priority. I kind of talked about that. Your schedule, like they know what you will be posting. Yes, ma'am. And I will share that with you guys this week. I mean, today. This week. Today. Um, every single day, um, every single week, they know what what's to be expected of them. Um, as a matter of fact, I will share it with you guys, but let me just throw this out there really, really, really quick of what's my schedule for the day. And I pin it to the top of the group. So it doesn't get lost. I also remind them that every single order and every single, and there's different other ways to get in my mystery hostess, uh, and my mystery hostess link, but I remind them of where they need to order so that they, they don't, they don't miss anything. Or if I have gotten new members, they know where to order. Um, so for instance, um, uh, Monday was clearance highlight day number one. Tuesday was this or that. Wednesday, wax Wednesday, Thursday, clearance highlight day number two. Um, Friday is flashback Friday and flashback Friday is what I mean is like collections that have launched this week, this month or last month. I'm considering it as a flashback, like a reminder. So I'm reminding them of the collections that are limited time offers to, um, today. Saturday, Sensi Club highlight and then Sunday's family day. Every Sunday's family day. All right. Um, sniffing sessions. So I started this two months ago. So every twice a month, I do a sniffing session. And what I mean is, is I pick a local coffee place and I don't care if no one shows up. It's my personal reason of starting these because I have got to get out of this house sometimes. Fresh air. I got to get out. So twice a month, I uh, create events in my VIP group and I simply go to a Starbucks or go to a Dunkin' or go to your mom and pop coffee joint. Take your catalogs, testers, um, anything that's brand new, perhaps the Gordy collection or whatever have you. Grab some things that you want to work on, maybe your planner or bring a laptop or whatever and sit in Starbucks and for an hour. Whether the VIPs come or not, I'm sitting there and I'm working my business. I'm getting out of this house. I'm getting a cup of coffee because that's my jam. And I'm working my business. Now, that can serve another reason. If you're working in Starbucks and people are coming in, they're going to be freaking nosy, right? Like, I'm even nosy. When I go into Starbucks and I see the whole entire row of couches filled with people working, I'm going to look. You're going to look. It's just human nature. And so when I create that vision of, like, all my testers and my catalogs and all the things, if no one comes, no one comes. But maybe I can get a new customer or a new party booked or maybe whatever. People are going to see and they may come up to me. And that may be opportunities that I didn't have if I didn't go. So uh, the last two times VIPs have come, I've had two or three VIPs come. And it's the same ones usually. Sometimes I get a new customer coming to meet me for the first time or whatever. They get to smell things. They get to talk. We get to chit chat. And half the time it's not even about Sensi. It's about what we have going on in our lives. I do it every single, I've been doing it now for two months. My next one is next week. I do it every other Wednesday and I pick different locations. So this month it's been the Starbucks down the street. Uh, next month, maybe I'll go up the road and travel 20 minutes and go up there because I have a lot of, I have customers all over the place. Now that I'm going to drive two or three hours, but it's a way for my locals at least to connect with me. I've got customers that I have never met, but they and I know each other like, like we're family and I want to create that sticky culture where I want people to connect with me in a personal level. I want them to see that I'm as crazy and bubbly on screen 
as I am in person. And I want them to get to know me on other levels. And then it helps me and my mental state to get out of this freaking house. Because like I said, I do this full time. Sometimes we get in these ruts where we don't want to leave our house, right? I got to get out mentally. It's good to get some fresh air. I get out and I get a cup of coffee and I get to possibly connect with new people, right? So you never know unless you try. I do it for an hour, Christine. A way for me to get out. So it's every every other Wednesday at 11 a.m. So it's a good time to get a cup of joe and maybe a sandwich from the local shop or whatever and then come back home. How do I find members that haven't been active in your group for a while so I can boot them? Um, So when you go into your members tab, you'll have your list of your members. And if you click their name or the three dots beside their name, you're going to scroll to view profile. And it doesn't really view their personal profile. It views a VIP member profile. And then it will tell you how long they've been in your group. It will tell you the last time they engaged. And if they've never engaged, then you know to give them the boot, right? Especially if they've been in your group for three years and they never even engaged but one, not at all, they get the boot. Now, also, I mean, if you don't want to be that bold, you can also message them before they get the boot and say, hey, Susie Q, I noticed that you've been in my group for three years, and I don't think we've connected in a bit. How have you been? And if they don't respond to you, then yeah, they get the freaking boot. But if they say, oh, everything's been great, I completely forgot that I've been, I was in your VIP group. Oh, my God, I need some sensi. That may be a game changer for you guys keeping those people in the VIP group. So just, you know your own customers. You know your own members. At at my point in time, I know the members that are in my group and those that don't really want to be in there. I give them the boot. I clean my group up almost every month because I party a lot. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I always bring in or try to invite my party friends because I want them to continue to grow with me, connect with me, hopefully continue building those orders and maybe they can... Uh, book their own parties off of their friends' parties, right? But sometimes they just get added in and they don't even feel like being in there, right? They're there for a year. They never even comment or engage and they never order and they get the boot. So you just have to play around with what how your members are and how you want to approach that. But that's just another idea to throw out there. Oh, I'm trying to hurry this up, you guys. I'm so, so sorry. I know your time is precious. All right, so sniffing sessions. Talked about that. Talked about pre-scheduling. Talked about my pre-prepping every Sunday. Talked about that. I will share more content throughout the day, so stay tuned to this page. Between now and 8 p.m., I have stuff pre-scheduled, and I've got stuff to share, ideas, charts, content, checklists, all the things, so please stay tuned to the page for that. Um, Battle of the Besties in the VIP group. So I just started this. I did do like Battle of the Host for a while. I stopped doing that for a good six months, but then as I changed my name to Scent Besties, I decided to bring back Battle of the Besties, which um, it's kind of a similar idea. If you've heard from like the previous consultant, Nicole Atnip, she did something similar um, in her VIP group, and I kind of took her idea and ran with it and tweaked it to match my VIP group, but I call it Battle of the Besties. I just had one this month. It's every single month. You party you shut down your vip group for a week and you basically ask who wants to be the battle of the besties next i had three this month um and all three did qualifying if not more in rewards in the vip group and basically you treat it like a party as you do in a separate group right i do it right directly in my vip group so for a week i run my template of my party and they invite their friends into the VIP group. Now, mind you, hostess coaching really goes into play with this because you don't want them to spam invite into your VIP group. Because mind you, your VIP group is sacred. You only want people that want to be in there and not spamming it, right? So you really have to coach your host and let them know that you need to personally invite, meaning messaging, texting, reaching out to your peeps before you invite them into my VIP group. And I... I am very stern with that, and they know it. And so they invite their friends into the VIP group for a week. I go live, do tutorials. I We do battle posts and all the things. And at the end of the week, I whoever has the most sales, um, I give them that perpetual party reward, right, of that party. And I say, okay, well, because you won, you are the top, you get X, Y, and Z. Um, and so... I do that. I have started that back up for this month and it went amazing. And I plan on doing it for the next 
couple months, see how it goes. So that's just one thing that you can do in your VIP group, battle of the besties, battle of the hosts, battle of the VIPs, um, and you just basically party in your VIP group, okay? Um, also, I do bingo, and I know uh, Vanessa's really big, Vanessa Rowe is really big in bingo partying. You can bingo party, whatever. I do that in my VIP group. So every couple months, I do a create an event, and I basically play, play bingo. It's no buying requirement. They don't have to do anything. They just have to show up and have fun. And it's just a way for my VIPs to hang out with me. We have fun. I dance. I get. I act crazy. Um, it's 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 a, it's an amazing time. So I do that every couple months in my VIP um, group, and it's been wonderful as far as engagement. Um, I think that's it. I actually went through my whole freaking list, y'all. Um, and it's been 47 minutes. I don't want to hold you guys any longer. I appreciate you guys hanging on, and I'm sorry if you guys commented and I missed your comment or your question, I will circle back around. Like I mentioned, I will be posting throughout the entire day. Please don't get angry at me. It probably be every hour or every two hours. I have a lot of content that I want to share with you guys. Um, but honestly, I hope you guys can feel through the screen my freaking passion when it comes to VIP groups. It is my bread and butter. Um, I have high PRV every single month and they say J months are our slow months. Nope. I literally love, love, love my VIP groups. I love it. I have a business page, but I, I, uh, it's mostly to bring new people to my world. I may post a couple times a week in that. It's really just spammy, like flyers or whatever, but my VIP group is where it is, it, where it goes down. I post religiously every single damn day in my VIP group. If you poop, which you all should be pooping, you've got five minutes, two minutes, one minute to go in your VIP group and check in with your customers. Make a post, right? Every single day, you should be posting in your VIP group. Eliminate the fluff. Cut what doesn't work. Evaluate your VIP group. Evaluate it. If you're being spammy, if you're putting links every damn post, stop it. Cut that shit out. Be personal. Think about it as family. These are your family, well, <laughs> My family doesn't support me, so I really can't compare it to that. But you get what I'm saying? Like, you've got to find your people. You've got to connect with your people. Sense the orders will come naturally. Sense the orders will come. When you want to have parties booked or you want to have people joining your team, when you build that sticky, we talk about sticky culture when it comes to team pages, right? Think about it as building a sticky culture for your VIP group. Do you want to be in your own damn VIP group? If you don't want to be in your own damn VIP group, if you're calling your VIP group dead, then you need to change it. My group is freaking fun, and I have fun with my VIP groups. I do crazy lies. My husband's in it sometimes. If you know my husband, you know what I'm talking about. I am always trying to find ways to be creative, be personal with my VIPs. I do polls at least once or twice a week. I do lives at least once or twice a week. Um... It's nothing crazy. Just be you. Be you. Stop overthinking this shit. Stop overthinking it and stop thinking that you're bothering people or you're bombarding them or you're doing too much or whatever. Stop it. Get out of your own freaking way, y'all. Half the struggle that we deal with is our own. Our own freaking mind that we're not good enough. We have nothing to share. We're posting too much. We're bothering them. Half of the struggle that a lot of you guys probably have, and I battled with it, and I still battle with it sometimes because it's just how my freaking mind works sometimes, is half of it is us. Get out of your own freaking way. Get out of your own way. Do I need to go a little closer? No. You don't want to, you don't want me closer. I love you guys, and, and 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 I know we may not have met each other personally yet, but I love you guys, and just know that you can do anything that you put your mind to, get out of your own way, and just showcase you, Share, show how much you love them, showcase how you value their business, showcase how you are appreciative of their business, and just share and connect and build relationships with your followers, your customers, your VIPs. Start today. Clear the fluff. Figure out what you need to do to revamp. And I promise you, it will continue to grow. But you've got to make it a priority. And you've got to be freaking consistent. You've got to be consistent.
If anything you've learned today, you've got to be consistent. Not posting once or twice a day or whatever and then being gone for a couple. You've got to be consistent. That is one thing that I can tell you right now, hands down. You've got to be consistent. And I'm sure you guys have heard that from many, many, many people. And we're not just saying it because we want to. It truly is true. Truly, truly, truly is true. You've got to be consistent. All right, I'm gone. I can be talk I can talk to you guys all day. Love y'all and stay tuned to the page. And um if you want to message me, then feel free to message me. Um there's plenty of YouTube trainings as well when it comes to VIP groups. Also, there's been plenty of trainings in here over the years. If you type VIP groups in the top of this actual page too, people have shared their nuggets too in here about VIP groups. So it's not just me. Um other than that, all right y'all. Have a good Friday. Cheers. I brought water to the VIP, to the VIP group, to the live. Cheers. Have a good Friday.